Before you cast a ballot, you'll want to have a good idea of where candidates stand on big issues. Senior reporter Teresa Woodard has spent hours looking into this, and this afternoon she breaks down health care and abortion. Before you cast a ballot in the presidential race, we want to help you learn more about policy. We are helping you better understand where Kamala Harris, the Democratic nominee for president, and Donald Trump, the Republican nominee for president, stand on issues that matter to you. On health care and abortion, Harris's website says, among other things, she will expand the Affordable Care Act, extend subsidies that cut the cost of the ACA that are currently set to expire next year, and extend the $35 cap on insulin currently in place for seniors to all Americans. On abortion, Harris supports eliminating the Senate filibuster to restore the protections that were allowed under Roe v. Wade. Now, staying with the issue of abortion, Supreme Court justices appointed by Trump overturned Roe, and that led to abortion bans in some states. Trump recently clarified on social media he would not support a federal ban on abortion and that he supports exceptions for rape, incest, and the life of the mother. That is less restrictive than Texas's law. On health care, Trump's website says he would reduce the cost of prescription drugs and health insurance premiums. But exactly what he would do with the Affordable Care Act is unclear. There's a lot more to consider before you vote. Go to WFAA.com for more. WFAA is your source for up-to-date information on Election Day. Our coverage starts at 9 a.m. Tuesday on WFAA+. Plus, and it all leads up to our results show, which kicks off right before the polls close at 645. You can download our streaming app to your smart TV on Roku, Amazon Fire, or Apple TV.